Chris Gethin here on the way to Vegas, two hours out, I think, from Vegas for the 2015 Mr. Olympia. And uh, we're just scrolling through my emails now. I'm getting a lot of messages from uh, people in regards to meal frequency and training frequency. Now, when it comes to meal frequency, myself, I like to go for the standard every two to three hours eating from the time that I wake up to the time that I go to bed, the reason being is that number one, I'm trying to stabilize my blood sugar level so I don't have cravings because I eat a lot of food and I get a lot of cravings if I do not eat frequently because obviously your blood sugar levels are gonna crash and what's the quickest way of bringing them back up? Sugars, and I don't want that. So I like to have meal frequency and again, there's only so much protein and uh, nutrients that the body will absorb at one given time or the rest gets stored as fat. So again, I like to have little frequent grazing intervals, I like to call them every two to three hours and uh, I want a steady flow of energy from carbohydrates and from proteins as well because number one I got to recover from my workouts and number two I need the fuel for those workouts I train with a lot of volume and with a lot of intensity so I need those carbs don't fucking tell me you can go on a ketogenic diet and train with a lot of volume and a lot of uh, in intensity you know or like you know you've got to have those carbs in there you know from the first thing in the morning maybe not until last thing at night but you need the meal frequency and again I like to eat immediately as soon as I've woken up before I do any cardio and immediately before I go to bed because I'm trying to shorten the fast of when I'm sleeping let's say I sleep well I don't but let's say I sleep about uh, anywhere between six and eight hours then I need to make sure that I shorten that fast because I'm gonna become catabolic during that time so, uh, you know, you've got to make sure that you try to shorten that fast. If you wake up in the night, yeah, sure, have a protein shake just to shorten that again. But, you know, you're going to have a casein or something before you go to bed or a blend. And uh, or if you're going to eat food, you're going to go for a steak. And then as soon as you wake up in the morning, you want something that kind of digests very fast, i.e. like a protein isolate or egg whites. And then when it comes to training frequent frequency, again, I follow kind of by instincts there, but Generally, as a rule of thumb, as a natural athlete, it's two days on and one day off. However, if I feel like I can train three days straight, sometimes four times, four days straight, I'll do it. You know, if I feel that I'm recovered and, you know, I'm not tired and I feel that I can continuously progress in the gym, then I'll go and hit it another day. But say if I train one day and I've had one big training day and maybe, I don't know, not much sleep and the day was intense the day before and I just don't feel up to it that day, you know, you smell the air and you don't feel as intense or that you could put in 100%, then I'll take that day off. But as a general rule of thumb, if you're not in that instinctive to your body, then I'd say two days on, one day off, two days on, one day off. Um, you know, everybody's a little bit different in that regard. So remember your nutrition and your supplementation and your hydration has to be 110% before you can accurately gauge you know when to take that day off or when to put that day uh, day in because if you're not 110 percent if you're lacking in a little bit of food or hydration or whatever obviously you're gonna to have to take more time away from the gym and you're not gonna progress as much but remember you've got to fuel the fire if you're fueled then the fire is going to take you back into the gym to burn it up a little bit more so that's it for meal frequency and training frequency Please, I like feedback. That's the only way that I can improve. So any feedback that you've got, please comment below and like and subscribe to these videos so I can produce more from you. Thank you.